So here we'll see how to do Facebook login in Flutter project. So first I'll go ahead and create a new Flutter project and I'll click on this new Flutter project button and then I'll create a new Flutter project. Now it would be creating my project and after that and after that we'll go to popspec.yml file and over here we'll install a plugin. The plugin name is Flutter Facebook Auth and then do pub get so it'll include the plugin in your project and then we we'll do cd ios for ios we need to do pod install okay so it'll install the necessary sdk for ios and for android we don't need to do anything like that but for android we have to have a lot of setups now we'll come over here and create my apps which means we'll create a new app so over here, I'll click on this button, create, and it is asking what type of app. We'll select business, and then we'll click next. After that, you might have to type in your app name. So you can name it pretty much anything, and then your email address, which is your Facebook email address, and you don't need any business account. So we do create app. You might have to type in your password. Let's go ahead and do it, and then submit. So it will create a project for us. And over here, we will choose Facebook login. Click on setup. Okay, so first we'll go ahead and set up for Android. So we'll create an Android project. And over here, we'll click next. Okay, all right. So over here, we have to copy this Maven Central and put it our build.gradle file, okay? So first we'll go ahead and open up our project and put it in app project level build.gradle file. So this is a project level build.gradle file, Maven Central, which I have already included. So you can just follow or and include. Now we'll go ahead and do some necessary changes in app level build.gradle file. And we have to copy this one and we'll open up our Android Studio once again and we'll go to uh, main and over here build.gradle okay source build.gradle so we need to find dependencies so we'll come over here and we'll paste the line that we have copied and after that we'll go back to our dashboard and then we'll click next. We don't need this code, so just go ahead and click next. So now we'll go to our Android manifest file, and from there, we'll copy our package name. So this is my package name. I'll go ahead and copy this one, and I'll put it right here, okay? And then I'll put it once again right below it, and at the same time, I'll do dot main activity. Make sure your spelling is correct, and then click save. After that, we'll continue. Okay, so now we need to create hash key. First, we'll go ahead and create for Mac. We'll copy the command, and then we'll open up our terminal. And uh, we need to go one directory back, and right here, we'll paste the command that we had just copied, okay? So make sure you are in the root, pro root folder of your project, and paste it, okay? And you, you need to enter password the password should be android and then it will generate the hash key so we just copied the hash key and we'll put it over here and save it and then continue okay now for windows you need to install open ssl and then you can create the hash key and once you create it you have to copy paste over here then we'll continue and uh, we can continue once again and we have to do more setup okay so first we have to create strings.xml file inside uh, our app folder inside app res and values folder okay so app main res values and over here we'll have strings.xml file okay so first we need to put our app name which is login app and then we need to copy our facebook app id we'll copy that one from here okay and uh, 
put it right over here so it could be any any number in your case and we'll also put it here and make sure that you keep FB the two letters it should be there okay all right so now we'll go ahead and do some changes in Android manifest.xml file we'll copy these two lines over here these two meta tags and we'll come to our Android manifest file and inside this application tag right after meta tag we'll put these two lines that we have just copied and after that we'll copy the rest of the code and put it right below those two lines just yeah so we'll, we'll we're gonna put right below these two lines and i already put it so you can do the same make sure that you copied all of it and then we have to give the user internet permission which we'll put in our android manifest file at the top which i have already done and uh, right below this first line and copy the other line and this is the line that i have already done so if you didn't so just go ahead and copy and put it over here and with this actually we are pretty much done with our um, android setup as well so now we'll go ahead and click quick start and we want to do ios setup so we'll click on ios and we'll click next for ios the setup is pretty simple first we have to get our bundle id so let's go to our project in our android studio and uh, go inside this iOS folder and uh, you can click any of the file and then you will see it says open iOS module and Xcode click on this it'll open up Xcode for you so now over here you will get your bundle identifier copy that and put it right over here and click save and continue right after that we have to do the setup in our info.plist file copy all this code from here and go to your project info.plist file and right after the dict keyword we'll paste whatever we have copied okay and over here we need to change our app id put our app id in two places so let's go to our dashboard and copy the app id So let's replace it here first and here as well. Okay, now you can also change the app name if you want. Let's go ahead and change it. Login app. And with this, we are done with iOS setup. We'll just go ahead and continue with our project. So here is our main.dart and make sure at the top we have flutter facebook auth.dart make sure you import it and right after that we have our main function and inside this we have a stateful class homepage so go ahead and create it right after that we have created two variables one for user login and another is for user information then we'll create a scaffold inside scaffold we'll create an app bar and then we'll have a body for the body we'll use a container and the container itself will have a width so we'll do that using media query right after that we'll have a child and for child we'll use a column the column will hold information about our user name and user email if the user has logged in but first we need to know whether the user has logged in or not and to do that we can use the variable that we declared at the top which is called is logged in so we'll copy that and put it right below this column and we'll do a conditional check using ternary operator if the user has logged in we'll show the user information if not we'll ask the user to log in so here we have this elevated button and inside this elevated button we have on pressed event and right inside it we have facebook auth.instant.login this is just like firebase.instance.login okay and right after that we'll ask permission from facebook to log in and we'll send this information to facebook using this value parameter 
and if we get permission then facebook would return us information and that information would be in this variable which we have declared as user data and we'll save this information in user object which is a map we'll save it in our map user object which we have declared at the top and then over here we see that this text button has another set state method so once we log out we set this user object to empty map and we also set it to false now facebook has a method called logout so this logout method is called on the text button press and with this you'd be able to log out now we'll go ahead and run our app so now our app is being built and here we see our app has booted and we'll click on this button and over here we see our app name and we continue with that and over here we continue using this username in my case this is my username if you log in first time it will ask you to type in your email address and password we'll continue and this is my username and email address of Facebook we can log out and we can log in once again so that's how you implement Facebook login in Flutter app. Thank you so much.